All right, hello everyone and welcome to the uh, Getting Started with Pipedrive video series brought to you by the Marx Group. Today in this video we're going to be talking about importing data. So this is especially helpful if you recently uh, joined Pipedrive or, or got a Pipedrive subscription um, or if you're migrating from another CRM. So we're going to talk about how to import that data now. So you might be curious where you can actually go to import the data. You go to this little dot 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 um, more section of the menu and then you'll see import data as an option here. And just to note, only administrators or people with specific permissions to be able to import data will be seeing this in their own Pipedrive instances. So if we click import data from that menu screen, we're gonna see a couple of different options. So if we click from another software, if you're migrating from another CRM, we've got a bunch of different options. Um, you can be migrating from Zoho, Pipeliner, um, Pipedrive, if you needed to go from one Pipedrive instance to another, um, Dynamics, Act, uh, a lot of different options here. But in this example, we're just going to go back to import and we're gonna do it from a spreadsheet. And Pipedrive actually has this really great sample spreadsheet that you can practice with. Um, and if you have any, you'll see, you know, I'm just kind of mimicking what's right here, but they do have this really neat feature where you can undo, um, your import and revert back to the old data um, up to 48 hours after the import happened. So if we click import from a spreadsheet, oh and right before I get started we can also see our import history right here at the bottom of our screen. So we're going to click for uh, import from a spreadsheet. And then we're going to download this um, XLSX sample file. I actually have it downloaded already. So we're going to go ahead and upload this. And you'll see, um, you'll see the progress bar here. And then it'll take us automatically to the mapping step. So this will take the spreadsheet columns and import and um, match them to existing fields in Pipedrive. So if there is a custom field, or let me say, um, if there is a column in your, in your spreadsheet that you need to capture that's not an existing field, um, we can click Add Custom Field here. Specify if it's a lead or deal field, a person field, an organization field, or a product field. And it's in, um, in this example, it actually gives us our job title um, custom field. So we're going to go ahead and add that as a person field. We'll say job title. We'll say it's a text field. And then here you can specify if it's always visible um, in the detail view, if it appears in the add person um, little pop up window or if it appears in the add lead and add deal views as well. We can also specify if it's required or important. And from here, we're just gonna say, I'm gonna leave all of this stuff actually. But you'll see we've got our new job title custom field and, and it'll specify what your custom fields are by saying custom field right next to them. And we can see that this is a person field. So we'll go ahead and drag and drop this right here. And you can see if the field that you're mapping is a person, a deal or lead field, or an organization field, et cetera, by the icon that appears next to it. So these are all person fields. Um, this is a lead or deal, or, sorry, this is a organization field. These are deal fields. These are activity fields. Um, and then these are note fields. 
So we have our deal title. Oops. So we'll want to drag and drop this over here. Perfect. And an important note up here, um, unmapped columns will not be imported to Pipedrive. So if you didn't map it, it's not going to show up in Pipedrive. So we're going to go ahead and click Next. And here we need to specify what happens with duplicates. So if they find duplicates, um, which are only checked, by the way, for people or organizations, you can either specify to create multiple records, and then you can go ahead and merge records after the import is done, <clears throat> um, or we can merge the data as the import happens. We can also import our, uh, we can also preview our import data below here, and these are the first three rows of the upload file, so we'll see the first three organizations, the first three people, the first three deals, activities, and notes. Um, this section here is completely up to you, but I will say if you decide to create multiple records, please do go ahead and make sure that any duplicates that get imported do get merged. It's just gonna make your um, data a lot more clean and a lot easier to work with in the long run. And if you wanna learn more about duplicates, you can just click this learn more button and it'll open up the um, knowledge base article. Pipedrive looks for the, um, the person's phone, person's email, and person's organization to determine, if, to determine if it's a duplicate person record, and then the address for organizations. So in this case, we're gonna go ahead and merge data for any duplicates, and then we'll start our import. We'll see our progress right here. Awesome, so the import is finished. We've got our nice little um, notification here. If there were any issues with your import, by the way, um, they would actually be brought into a separate file that you could just download and fix right then and there. I'm used to other CRMs that don't do that, and this is it's really, really nice that Pipedrive does this for you. So again, if any uh, errors were encountered with the data you were trying to import, it would take only those specific rows that had errors, bring them into a separate file for you to download, <clears throat> and then you can fix them and re-import them really easily. So I just, I can't talk highly enough about that feature. I think that's great. So we can go back to <clears throat> our deals. Taking a second to load here, but we're on our all one deals. So we're gonna go ahead and um, go to all open deals and we will see all of these deals that we just imported here. Similarly, we can go to our contacts and see a whole bunch of contacts that were just imported. We'll see them with the new um, tag next to them. Same thing with activities. If we go back to contacts, we can also see our organizations that were imported. So really great stuff. Um, really like the import feature with Pipedrive. And once again, to get that started for your organization, you just go to this more tab or icon here, and then we click import data. And just start the process here, and it walks you through it really nicely when we'll see our import history right here. And if you needed to 
remove data that you just imported, you could just go ahead and click revert. All right, I hope this was helpful for you. Um, feel free to check out our other pipe drive uh, videos and tips on our blog and YouTube channel here. And I will see you guys in the next video. If you have any questions at all, feel free to email me, megan at marksgroup.net. And I will see you guys next time.